While the holidays can be festive and fun, it can also be a pretty dangerous time for your pets. Our Paula Tupman live in downtown Rochester tonight. Paula, these next few weeks are very busy for veterinarians. Yes, they really are, and I don't know if you can take a look around. How did this happen? The holidays are clearly upon us, and this is the time we normally uh, warn pet owners and remind them that they've got to be extra careful for their pets. But we talked to a veterinarian today, and she's saying she's seeing a little something, something new this year. Good job. Bailey just got a fantastic report on his checkup. Teeth, coat, skin, belly. I, I think most dogs, especially around holiday time, they tend to either get fed stuff or they get into stuff. Yeah, that's our biggest thing. Is right? Make sure guests don't overfeed. You got it. His pet parents are pretty careful about his access to holiday stuff because they are aware of the hidden and not so hidden dangers that enter a house this time of year. We don't keep any holiday plants, so we don't allow poinsettias in our house. Uh, just because they're poisonous to dogs, so I don't want to have to worry about it. But even careful pet parents can get surprised. And what Dr. Christy Yee of Hometown Veterinary Hospital is seeing in her Rochester office is not just the usual holiday suspects like chocolate and poinsettias. Unfortunately, we're seeing a higher incidence of edible consumption, and so uh, we're seeing more and more cases of dogs coming in that have gotten into owner's edibles. Marijuana, legal in Michigan for medicinal and recreational purposes in various forms, and pets are finding the stashes. But they sort of have a classic um, presentation. They're sort of walking funny, drooling. They can be dribbling urine, but they definitely look off. But getting back to the vast and sundry items pets can get into. Usually when families are getting together, there's lots of cooking, lots of high fatty foods. We're not really watching our calories during the holidays. And so as a result, our pets are also getting some of that high fat food. Yeah, but also not food, but dogs will make it food. Tinsel as well as garland and uh, vets are saying that if they ingest that, that's pretty much a promise they're going to end up in an emergency room needing surgery. However, since COVID, we've got a shortage of veterinarians and so it might take longer to get your pet the services, the emergency services they need. So certainly this time of year prevention. Absolutely, guys, the best medicine. Yeah, maybe because my dog doesn't get into too much. I don't worry about things like that, but a lot of good stuff that I bet a lot of people didn't know. Yeah. Thanks, Paula.